Hello you guys, so we are back again with part two of our council estate build. Um, bit of a cheeky one, there's not going to be a build upload today, um, purely because uh, I actually decided I was going to start this series after I'd already started building this on stream and I had built this, um, <laughs> this family's lot uh, off stream. Um, so we, we've got pictures and I'll be showing you guys the inside, it's absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, no build upload today, um, <laughs> just this video, but Friday we do have both parts ready to go, so uh, do be looking forward to that. So yeah, we're here today with the, the Schultzes, um, this is that elderly couple with the, the grandchild that I was telling you guys about, we're starting off with Irvin, um, that's his name, <laughs> and um, he's so, oh he's so cute. I, I, when I make elders, I like to, if I'm making them in Cass, I like to make them as young Sims first and see what they would look like when they're younger and then turn them into elders. Um, and I just feel like then, like, especially like, I love that he had the tattoo. It's was like, maybe he got the tattoo when he was younger. Um, and he's just, obviously he's always kept it, but now he's kind of, you know, chilled out. He's lived his life. Um, <laughs> and I, oh, I, I've used so many, like, um, Cass assets like clothes and stuff that I would never usually use because I don't tend to make elders that often. I really, really need to get into elder gameplay, so I feel like this family is so perfect for that. Um, I gave him a little hat, and I just thought like, I don't know. You always see like little old, old boys like with with their little caps and stuff. They always wear their caps and they're always cute. And, oh, it just yeah, really vibey. So he's actually got a hat for every out. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, for Irvin, I wanted to make him a bit sort of um, sterner as a character, but nice as well. He loves to cook. Um, he's very loyal to his wife, whom he loves. Uh, he's literally couple goals. Um, he loves creative sims, but he's a no-nonsense kind of sim. So any kind of negative traits, he's really not about, and he won't like it cause issues. Um, <laughs> so you can see me doing that here. I, I tend to find that the conversation topics and the, the like sim attributes kind of preferences are like so important for making sort of more diverse gameplay. Um, so I always fill those out completely and then the rest I just leave and let the sims kind of make up their own minds during gameplay. But that's for adult sims. You'll actually see in a little bit that I don't... Um, do preferences for kids because I like them to kind of find their own preferences as they grow um, but yeah so there was a little cut there it's because I was watching the um, footage back and it looked like I forgot to do Irvin's clothes it was only Irvin so I went back today um, like two days after and kind of did the rest of his outfits and I just wanted him to feel like a bit more dated right but like still kind of iconic so he is literally like that cute little old man at the end of the street who wears like you know really nice like tweed suits and stuff and like <laughs> always like puts effort into it, uh, how he's dressed he's a, yeah he's very sort of um prideful bless him our Irvin he's so sweet but yeah so I'm gonna kind of let you guys um look at the rest of this um we're gonna make the rest of his outfits and then I will come back to our next sim
Okay guys, so now we are moving on to our next sim. This is the wife of Irvin and this is Miriam. And I thought, you know, this sim that it gave me to start with was so stunning. I've noticed a lot of the um, old kind of starter sims, you know, they would have pre-made. It stopped doing that for me now. I, that might be an update. So I just get completely randomly gen generated sims from what I can tell. Um, so I rolled with it. I thought she was so beautiful. I think I made some minor tweaks and then we went into making her as an elder. I didn't have like a a set plan for how these sims kind of were going to look. I knew what I wanted them to be like. So our Miriam here is a bit of a gardener. She's a bit of a green thumb. She loves plants. Um, but other than that, like, uh, yeah, completely winged it. And I kind of looked through these assets and kind of thought, well, what's going to suit our Miriam and her vibes and, and like you know what kind of brings her and Irvin together so I wanted their styles to be kind of like dated like together um I put a couple of modern twists on Miriam because that I thought well she's not gonna be wearing heels she's gonna be comfy she's gonna be a green thumb so I put her in some like Air Force One style shoes <laughs> and um yeah I just I wanted her to be very like laid back you know I gave her an extra outfit with her gardening gloves um, turns out she likes a glass of wine which is great because in their flat they actually do have um, a nectar holder so you know she can get her nectar <laughs> whenever she wants which is going to be fabulous for Miriam you know day of gardening and then an evening of drinking some wine relaxing watching the telly sounds beautiful doesn't it <laughs> so here we go. Um, we're going into her formal wear. I wanted to give her a little bit of a bit of a glam moment for formal because I just think basically she's a nice person. She's uh, uh, she's literally her trait is good, um, and I thought you know everyone's gonna love her, and I feel like she deserves her little moment. You know, if there's a, a formal event of any kind, I want her to to feel beautiful and dolled up and you know one last time kind of vibes. <laughs> so yeah, we I uh, went through and I got this this blush and I was like oh my god it's so intense but when you turn the um opacity down it's actually really nice and it blends really nicely and with the shades that they've given it kind of goes with any skin tone so I threw that on her and then the rest of her outfits I kind of kind of went through quite quickly um I feel like yeah um a, a lot of them I kept and just recolored to fit the vibes more um and I feel like the only one I really changed a lot was probably, well, her everyday and then I think her winter wear or her cold weather outfit. The rest of it, yeah, I pretty much just kept the same, um, <laughs> apart from like the minor tweaks. So um, after she's got through this, we'll, we'll go through to um, setting up her tray. And yeah, so she's a, a good sim. She loves gardening. Um, I've actually like forgotten the last trait that I gave her. I'm just trying to think now. Well, we'll see in the footage. Um, but I know that I made it so that she wanted to be a green thumb. So her aspiration is gardening related. And then for her preferences, I just made her like everyone. Apart from mean sims, right? So she doesn't like neg like horrible negative things. But... Uh, you know, she likes gossip and I kind of made her tick boxes for a few things that Irvin wasn't into. Because um, I feel like that's that's where they're different and that's why he likes her. Because she is such a good person and she brings out the best in Irvin. And that's why he fell in love with her. Um, here we are picking the traits now. So there's her good trait. There's her loves the outdoors trait. And then what did we go for? Oh, we went for cheerful. So she's cheerful, happy, and loves the outdoors. She does have outside a sort of um, uh, flower arranging um, table and she's got her gardening pots. So she's got a little mini garden that she's going to be very proud of, I'm sure. And here we are now trying to find uh, a dad for our grandson. We did genetics for the daughter and then we got um, a sim off the gallery and then we did genetics for them. And that's how we ended up with Rylan. Um, what I did is I set up their relationships so that the grandparents would be his grandparents, right? So I had to go through all their relationships and make sure they all made sense. And then I removed the parents from Cass and that's how we managed to have their relationships all sorted, um, which was fab. Really, really, really happy about that. Um, 
not sure how that affects uh, the family tree in the gameplay, but it should be fine. <laughs> so yeah, Rylan. He turned out really cute. I looked at him as an adult and he has a really big forehead, but that's fine. We can kind of work with that. We can maybe give him a fringe or something. <laughs> We kind of went through, and when I started doing um, Cass with Rylan, I noticed he had a hearing aid, and I was like, actually, I never, ever, ever include the disability items on my Sims. Why don't I, you know, improve the diversity in my game, especially since we have sign language coming with uh, for Rem that's been kind of spotted uh, in some of the trailers. So let's do it. So we've got Rylan with the hearing aid. I made sure he had that hearing aid for every outfit, so it made sense. Although I'm thinking of taking it off for his pajamas or having a pajama outfit where he doesn't have it in for comfort. Um, especially if we're having sign language, it's not going to be like something he needs all the time. Um, so that's, yeah, d debating on that currently. Um, I think the gameplay is going to be so cute with Rylan. He's just a really nice child. His outfits are all vibey. Um, and I think he's really, really going to get on with his neighbour's um, child. Um, you know, Pippa Peppa and Zoe. <laughs> so him and Zoe are going to be really, really, really good friends. Um, this is me naming him. I gave him a different last name because I like to think his mum was married. And then obviously issues arose. And, uh, oh, wait, no. That doesn't make sense at all now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe she was married and divorced and he doesn't talk to his dad. There we go. And here are the pictures. <laughs> um... Yeah, I had a really fun time taking these pictures. There's a bit of a story here. Um, so, you know, they're kind of... Here they are doing their hobbies and stuff. It's really sweet. He comes and joins his grandma outside when she's gardening. Keeps her company. They'll have a chat. Um, there's Grandad in the background talking through the window to the neighbour. He's gone in to make some food. Um, he kind of cooks and then... There's an interesting conversation he has with um, <laughs> with Miriam, and afterwards you'll see he goes on the phone, and well, you'll see the dog food here. They decide that they're going to call up the adoption agency, and they're going to get Rylan a puppy. <laughs> so um, when you go on the gallery, you'll see that they actually it's these three and their dog Baxter. Um, and poor Goldfish is quite upset because actually Gold Goldie never gets any attention. <laughs> Here they are hanging out and vibing. Um, and yeah, I'll just leave you with the rest of the pictures. The rest of the pictures are going to show you the lot and, and how we've decorated. And I think it turned out really well. You guys take care. Don't forget to sub, like and comment down below um, what you thought of, the, of this family in their home. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye guys.